Join us for the grand opening of Super Nintendo World as we are one of the first to enter the new land on its official opening day. We invite you to explore with us the wonders of Universal. All right, here we are going in the park two hours earlier. Good thing we got here earlier. All right, here we go. Super Nintendo World is now officially open. Let's go. has finally came. Yeah, and everybody's here waiting to get down to the lower lot. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Now, during this time, the park had opened up two hours early to allow everyone to line up in front of the new land to witness the opening ceremony. All right, guys, so we got about 10 minutes before the land officially has its grand opening. And we've been here since about 5 a.m. We've been here for a long time. There was only a handful of people, but as you can see now, the crowd is officially here. You got executives, you got Nintendo executives, and Universal everybody's executives. Here. Everybody's here, and hopefully they heard they're going to do a ribbon cutting. So we're excited to see that. Most of all, we're excited to get inside the Just new land. Inside and go play. <laughs> all right, here we go. Into yeah. the war pipe. We're finally inside. All right. So first things first, we're going to head into the one up factory because we're going to get you a power event. Yes, I need to get one so I can start racking all these points. Yeah, you got to add up all these points. I we're going to be playing some games. It's going to be a fun filled day. Let's go. All right. So Vanessa got her power event for the one up factory. I did. Of course, I had to go with Princess Peach to match my crown. Now, although you don't need one to enter the land or to be inside the land, you do need it to interact with all the games around the land plus Bowser's Challenge. Yes. And also, if you guys have a Nintendo Switch at home, That's right, you can use it on Mario Kart and collect coins and personalize your own avatar. So, so that's a really cool feature too. You guys don't need one, but let's see how it goes on. Oh, that was pretty easy. Slap it bracelets, yeah. Now, don't want to hurt yourself, but <laughs> now, we, now since you have one, you can bring it to the land every time, track your coins, track your points, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I really wanted to play a lot of the games today, but it is so crowded. It is so busy. We're going to definitely have to come back. Save it for another video. Save it for another video and try out more games. So just for now, we're just going to show you guys what it looks like with my Mario one. That's cool. All right, check it out, guys. Mario and Luigi. Look at how amazing bye, bye, these characters bye. are. So hey, interactive and so cool. Look at that, guys. Wow. Hey. If you guys want to see Mario and Luigi, I suggest getting here ASAP because the line goes through so fast. You can get some photos of them here at Super Nintendo World. So look at this queue. This is an amazing queue. It is. The colors and the transitions. It is inside the video game, honestly. It does. It's very unique. And then we're also going to enter Bowser's Castle, the very last part of the queue. So that's always cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. Are you ready? <laughs> we have a long way. Now this particular area we haven't been to yet because the no. line has not gotten this long. So they've opened up this part of the queue, which is very interesting. They get all the graphics. Them, I love seeing all this. Yeah, it's very cool. It's like you're entering different parts yes. of Super Nintendo Mario World. So that's pretty cool. It's like different, like, you know, the little different islands, areas. The areas. Yeah. yeah, so that's cool. Stepping into each room is like stepping into each level. It in the is. Game. It's so cool. It just puts you in the game. It really does. It is so beautiful. Your character inside the game. That line is starting from the entrance yes. of Super Nintendo World. It's insane. Alright guys, so when we say this queue is insane, we want to say it just keeps going and going. You can see Bowser right behind us. There's so much to see. It's so huge. It's like yes. surprise after surprise. So we're now in Bowser's trophy room. This is part of the queue. There's so much to see from beginning to end. It's amazing here. It is. Look at his throne though. It's right behind us. Full cool size. I wish they had a Bowser right there. Sitting, Sitting right there, yeah. taking photos. This can't get any better than this, guys. Thank you so much. There we go. We're all set to race. Got our hat. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go! Woo! You ready to go? <laughs> we, we need a one up. I know, we did. <laughs>
Bowser's Challenge. What an amazing ride. It's always fun. There is nothing like that ride. It isn't. It's like playing real life Mario Kart. It's it so really cool. It is. Yeah, like you're inside yes. the actual video game. It is such a ride, guys. Try it out. If you haven't tried it, definitely try to get on the ride. It is so worth it. I think it's even worth waiting in this big line. There's so much to see in the queue. Even if it's an hour, over an hour away, it didn't even seem that long just because there was so much to see in the queue. Definitely recommend it, guys. Don't miss it when you come to University Studios Hollywood. Now it's time to eat. We're going to head inside to Toadstool's Cafe. We did hear that Chef Toad has cooked up some new menu items, and I'm really excited because the food there is always amazing. I know. I can't wait to go inside because I am starving. Yes, let's go inside and see what he cooked up. All right, so Vanessa started off with the Superstar Lemon Squash. This is a very popular drink here at Toadstool Cafe, and it's really refreshing. It is delicious, and yes, and refreshing. So it's based with um, Sprite Soda, and it was topped off with mango uh, pieces and puree in it. And also on the bottom, it's uh, popping bobas. So you got, got the red, yellow, and green popping bobas. And some it's ice. A, it's a really fun and delicious drink. I really love this drink. I would get this again, especially on a hot day. I give it an 8 out of 10. This is actually really, really and good. You don't I don't really like, like sweet drinks either. Like, I don't, but this yeah. is really good. The boba gives it a little flavor. It's not too sweet at all. Like, if you think it's going to be like syrupy sweet, it's not. It's yeah, because definitely, of the definitely recommend trying this out. Uh, pairing it with either a Luigi burger or any other item here any at item. Coastal Cafe. Here we have the tomato basil soup and this cute little mushroom bowl. And there's the tomato soup with one mushroom inside it. I love tomato soup, so I'm excited to try this one. Yeah, you got you mushrooms go. in there. Cotton. You got basil. It smells really good, too. Love the bowl, though. I wish I could keep the bowl in the shell on top. I know. If we could take the bowl <laughs> home, that would be awesome. But you can't take these home. You can't so. take them home. You have to leave them here. And they are watching, so don't they try to get... Her. Don't try to get any good ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna try the soup now. All right. Look at how like creamy that is. Oh, but they don't have like the bread shit. It's really good. It just honestly, it tastes like your typical tomato soup. There's nothing really special about it. If you love tomato soup, then you're gonna love this soup. It's just a little more magical because it comes it in is. a tofu, you know, which is yeah, an awesome presentation. A topper on top of your bowl. You can't go wrong with tomato soup. So you can. I would definitely get this again, especially like on a cold day. It would definitely warm you up. I give this an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. There you go. The tomato soup here at Toast Food Cafe. Alright, so here we have the mushroom soup. Now it comes in an iconic toad bowl. It did have three mushroom crackers, but they melted inside because we were taking pictures and they got soggy. So uh, if you can get the crackers on the side, I recommend doing that. But this is a mushroom soup. We're going to try it out and uh, I'll tell you guys what it tastes like. Let's see. I love mushrooms. Yeah, guys, this is definitely a no for me. I'm definitely gonna pass on this. I love mushrooms, but not in liquid form. I would not get it again. This is probably the only thing on the menu that I do not like uh, so far. We still have a few items to try, but this, definitely pass on it. Nah, this is not it for me. All right, so after having the mushroom soup, which you didn't like, and I didn't like either, uh, hopefully we can redeem it with the Chef Toad short rib. It looks, looks really good. It looks really good and it smells really good. More up my alley. And it has a little chef toad on there, on the little cracker. It's, it is going to crack if I pick it up, so. There you go. Look at how cute that is. I'm ready to dig in. Here we go. I think I'm going to move the steak out of there. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, look, it has mushrooms awesome. in the bottom of it. Okay, here we go. Wow, the ribs are really tender. Look at that. Wow. I cut right into it without like any struggle at all. Look at how soft it is. Got some sour cream there. This is really good. I usually don't eat sour cream with my ribs. That's a really good mixture. And I love the taste of the gravy on the bottom. I'm gonna try some of these mashed potatoes. I really love this dish. I would definitely 
definitely get this again. The tenderness of the ribs is really, it's perfect. I love how soft I cut into it, how chew, how it's not so chewy because I don't like my meat chewy. So I love that it's really tender, it looks very tender. and juicy. And then the, the mashed potatoes are really, really good too with the gravy on top. I just love this whole dish. Give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Okay, there you go. So I got my short rib. I'm just going to add all the other ingredients to it and see how that tastes. So here we go. So I got the sour cream gravy and mashed potatoes. Even though the short rib is cooked to perfection, adding all the other ingredients to it just makes it so much better. This is definitely one of my favorite dishes here at Toad's Cafe. I would definitely recommend this, guys. Oh man, there it is. Bowser's taking over the Toad's Cafe. You got a lightning storm over there. This is insane. Now, if you plan on dining here at Toadstool, you'll be seeing that storm probably about every 15 minutes. You'll catch it just sweep by, and it's pretty cool. You get a lot of lighting effects. You'll see Toads running around. You'll also see Luigi and Mario doing some effects on the windows. If you guys can't get a window seat, I definitely recommend it. You'll see the action a lot closer right when you're eating. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's grand opening for Super Nintendo World here at Universal Studios Hollywood. What a big day. And we, we are also tired. We were very tired. We were here super early at 5 a.m. And uh, we secured what we wanted to do. We tried the food we wanted to try. We got on the ride. And it was very busy, as you can see behind us. Yeah, this very crowd crowded. has not died down at all throughout the day. It's it was safe. Maybe. Like this crowded. It was maybe not as crowded early in the morning. I want to say at about 9 o'clock, it was just like this from here on out. Yeah. So if you guys are planning on coming and you want to have an empty space or an empty Super Nintendo World, come early in the morning. Other than that, be expecting large crowds for the next few weeks. Maybe a few months. But if you guys are planning on visiting the land, be sure to bring your patience and remember to be kind to all the team members. They are trying their best. Yeah, now that the land is open, anybody can just walk in here. So these crowds are not going to die down for a while. You can see how many people there are. Yes, we've seen a lot of frustrated families here today and the team members are trying their best to give you such a great experience. They're trying to make it a great time for everyone. Yes, yeah, so just be kind to them. Yeah, be nice. kind, remember that, and always have fun, guys. If you guys don't want to deal with the crowds, maybe wait till the crowds die down yeah, a little maybe bit. maybe wait a few months and then try to visit the park again. It'll always be here, and we can't wait to show you guys when we return. We're going to show you guys a lot more updates, so stay tuned. But once again, guys, thanks for tuning along and helping us find the wonders of magic. Bye! Bye.